welcome back to TR's Tarot Talk 1111. Today I am doing the zodiac sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All cross watchers. Remember, if you're a cross watcher, that spirit knows who's watching and therefore might be talking to you. You just never know, right? So uh, Scorpio, we're going to take a look at your general energy for the 1st through the 15th of July. And we're going to take a look at your finances and career and then your love and relationships. So um, let's see for announcements. My birthday is July 11th. And I will be on vacation from the 11th to the 18th. So there may not be uploads. There might be uploads. They might not be tarot in nature. Who knows? I might surprise you with some beautiful beach content or uh, pontoon because we're going out on the pontoon. However, my birthday gift to you guys for my birthday is I am offering readings for 50% off. So uh, a normal reading, a pre-recorded reading would be a hundred dollars and I'm offering for the month of July for fifty dollars that way it'll give me a little extra cash to spend on my vacation and it's a way for me to give back in gratitude for everything you guys do for me so as long as you uh purchase the reading in July pay for it in July send me a screenshot of your payment you can book for any time I will not be available to do the reading through from the 11th to the 18th due to being on vacation. But if you pay for it in the month of July, it will be $50 instead of 100. And you can book it any time in July or the month of August, okay? So that is my only announcement other than, um, as you know, we launched Patreon, which is a paid subscription um, for $4.44 if any of these Zodiacs seem to resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper dive into them, I will be offering extendeds for every one of the Zodiacs on the 1st and the 15th of each month. And um, the purchase price is only $4.44. And if you're interested, click the link in the description box below. All right. I love you guys. Here we go, Scorpio. All right. Your overall energy for the 1st through the 15th of July is conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Holy crap. So right off the bat, we had the full moon eclipse back on, it was in May. When was it in May, spirit? May 26th. So whatever has been going on for you, because um, eclipses are usually about things changing, big changes. It's usually an opportunity to close out some cycles from the past and um, in order to create space for the future. Now, sometimes they're voluntary, sometimes they come in like a wrecking ball and it's it's a uh, spirit's way of clearing a path because something better is for you <clears throat> so if it felt like something was wanting to be released uh closed out if you've learned a lesson and up leveled somehow um then your conclusion to that situation might be wrapping up here from the 1st to the 18th of July. So bear in mind, try to take a look at your life and what relationships or situations or, or family or arguments or projects, anything that um, felt like it was done, completed, ready to be released, walked away from, uh, sacrificed, whatever, or if it felt like you had a tower moment where spirit's just been trying to kind of pull something out of your energetic field, uh, then just know that, that a conclusion to that could be wrapping up here in the beginning of July. All right, so let's take a look at your finances. Oh, look at that. You got the same thing as Libra did. So there's something here you're waiting for. Something that you've invested in and you're reflecting on it. You could be, sometimes this is an impatient card. Sometimes it's a patient card. 
Uh, we're going to take a look at the energies and we'll discern more once we've got more of the energy on the table. So we have Princess of Winter, inquisitive, truthful, realistic, undiplomatic, ooh, uh, information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. And then you have the fool's card. It's called the dreamer. Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure and trust yourself. So um, just general energies until I get the rest of this, these opened here for you. What I'm feeling is that something very well could be coming to a conclusion for you. Right? This is... Um, this could be information that's difficult to hear. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Page of Swords. I'm just sitting in the energy for a minute, guys, listening to my guides because I'm getting I'm getting a mixture here of energy. Yeah, I'm just kind of feeling like a, a, a bit of bad news, maybe. or um, But whatever it is, it's definitely setting you on a new course, a brand new beginning. Sometimes this, this uh, Seven of Pentacles is reflecting on whether or not something you've put time and investment in is, is ever going to fully come into fruition. So let's take a look at the rest of the energies before we make any assumptions here. Wishbone. A wish is granted. October. Hmm. Intent. Temporary situation. Yeah, I see. Okay, so with that card, that kind of cleared things up a bit. So something you've been investing in, some it's a wish come true for you. Uh, there might be a delay. And it could be that you're antsy with this uh, fool's card. You're ready to take that leap of faith. You want to get on task. You want to start this adventure. It's this feeling of wanting to get moving. And you might get some bad news around a delay, possibly until October. Attempt, but this is temporary. This is not, this, this is a wish come true. This is going to happen for you. But some, it feels like something needs to, I'm hearing a gestation period. I heard that also for Libra. So it's like something here needs more time to, to come into its full potential. But it will create this brand new beginning for you. And it is a wish granted. And this stagnation or this pause is only temporary. You have do what you love. That's always good advice <laughs> when it comes to finances. So this is a lesson I've learned just in the last two and a half years since I since my divorce. Um, when you Get a job just to make ends meet. How many times have you heard somebody say, I just need to make ends meet. I just, I just need income. Well, you are a powerful conscious creator. And when you speak those words out loud, you are creating just that. You're creating just something that makes ends meet. Something that just pays the bills. But if you set your intentions and make a wish and then take practical steps and invest in that wish, and it's something that you truly love, you will find that the money you make from it, the return that you get on, on it or in it is so much more prosperous because you love it. There's just something about the energy of being in joy and happiness that, that frees up energy to flow 
very uninhibited. And, you know, money, they call it currency for a reason because it is energy and it does flow. So this is always good advice. This could come up in any financial reading and be spot on. Do what you love and you will always, always receive more from it because your energy is so high vibrational that you put into it, right? So next we have, sometimes it's hard. Uh, I accept that the creative process is not always easy. I know art doesn't magically rain down from the sky while artists lay around on beanbag chairs and muse about with sitar music. Making something from nothing is sometimes very hard, but that's okay. I'm happy to roll up my sleeves and slog through the hard parts knowing it'll be a whole lot harder to live an uncreative life. So what Spirit's saying, quite honestly, is finances right now might be a little slow. Things might be stagnant or, or there could be something you've invested in that um, you get some kind of bad news or you have to continue your education or, you know, there's a pause here. I'm hearing possibly in October is when everything's going to free up and this new beginning can start for you. But make sure when things are hard, it's not always working harder that brings you the reward. Sometimes it's doing what you love and making it more like play. And the fool is very young, playful energy. It's, it's youthful. It's brand new. It's sparkling. It's following your dream. It's taking a chance. So I just see that things are going to get better. This is a temporary situation. There's a pause in your finances. You might get some news that you don't want to hear, but ultimately it is temporary and everything is going to come together. Your wish will be granted. And it says conclusions are within reach. So it could be conclusion to a a long pause, right? Something needs more time is what I'm hearing. Something needs more time. And with October, it could just, you know, turn around completely for you in the fall. Now I'll go deeper into this over on Patreon, but for now I'm going to move over to your love and romance. Oh, look. So you're going to be nostalgic here in the beginning of July. This is you like looking over something from your past, reliving memories, walking down memory lane. This could be a soulmate connection, somebody that feels like home. It could be somebody that you've known since you were a child. This is beautiful energy. Let's take a look at what else you've got here. It's so hot, everything's sticking to me. Listen to my boy having fun back there. All right, so we've got the two of swords, stalemate and indecision with manifestation, the magician. Hmm, I'm going to get all the energies out before I start reading, okay? We have chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. Could be a past life soulmate too. A lot of times when there's a strong connection or chemistry, when you meet somebody, um, it could be because you've, there's a, a energetic recognition um, from the past, right? We have finances and career. Okay, this one could have went over here, right? Financial issues are a factor in your love life. So, whoa, whatever's going on over here could be affecting this relationship as well. We'll go deeper into this over in Patreon. So, next we have healing. Healing. Uh, and forgiveness, guys. You have forgiveness. It is time to heal old wounds. See, there you go. You're looking over the past. There's an old wound here that has caused some kind of a stagnation. This could be self-worth. If it's tied in with your finances, it could be, you know, um, not feeling good enough. It could be healing childhood wounds, you know, a childhood wound uh, because there's healing that needs to happen here and forgiveness. Oh, my God. And you got healing here, too. 
So healing, healing, healing. Whoa, healing. It is time to heal old wounds. Forgiveness is required. Do not allow yourself to be a victim any longer. For in doing so, you only hurt yourself. You are eternally loved. Embrace the love that is being offered and allow it to heal you. Big, big message around healing. Hmm, what else we got here? I love doing readings. It's like opening presents on Christmas morning. And I love to read like books. So for me, reading tarot is like reading a book. So we have Belle announcement. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. See, a wish is about to be granted. This is what I'm picking up for you. I feel like there is something from your past that is stagnating you. It could be a belief system. It could be a breakup. It could be a relationship that needs to be let go or a relationship that you've been trying to manifest. But there's a healing probably from your childhood that needs to happen. And then that's the conclusion that's what needs to end is some kind of a, there needs to be a transmutation of something here from the past that needs to be cleared out energetically to make space for this wish to be granted for this new beginning to start. And it's not going to be easy. It is affecting your love life, but look, you've got chemistry, deeper. You are not finished. You are not yet done. Dig deeper and deeper. The best is yet to come. Hold on. Hold on. Mm, I'm feeling shadow work. We have Anthony's call and thanks of my spirit, safe and sound. All things that are lost now can be found. Ooh. All right. So this is very general. I will get the details out of this. We'll squeeze this like a lemon and figure out what juicy little tidbits are going on. If this feels like your energy, if you feel like there has been a long waiting period, a choice that needs to be made, conclusions are usually based from a choice, right? Do I go left? Do I go right? Do I stay? Do I go? Do I start? Do I finish? What do I need to finish so I can start, right? It feels to me like there is somebody that you have a lot of attraction for, and you've been trying to manifest them, right? But I think that there could be some wounding from your childhood or your person's childhood around value, around self-worth, around love, love of self, do what you love. This is somebody that you might have thought you lost forever, right? Because it says Anthony's call and thanks of my spirit, safe and sound, all things that are lost now can be found. And this might not even have to do with another person for some of you. This could be healing you. This it could be a crossroads for you where spirit is trying to manifest, you're trying to manifest a new beginning. But spirit's saying there's something from your past that needs to be energetically cleared out in order for you to manifest all this good stuff yeah. that's just sitting here on the table, waiting, waiting, seven of pentacles, to be birth, to be granted, wish to be granted, money, you know, prosperity, abundance. When it says beware of self-delusion, okay, so you've got bell, an announcement, and you've got this princess of winter. It says information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. So you're going to get some kind of clarity. It can come in through another person. 
or it can come in just spiritually from spirit. Sure. But somehow, some way with Don't this beware of self-delusion, I think you have fear around lack, about not being worthy, about, you know, everything you comes hard for me. Nothing ever comes there. easy. I've got to put so much toil and work in everything that I do. And Spirit's saying, you know, you might need to go a little deeper into your shadow to release some of those belief systems. Now, if this is around a person, because I do feel for some of you it is, this chemist, this is, you know, this person is triggering something within you from your childhood. That's what I'm hearing. And they may have even been there in your childhood. You know, like with me, my twin flame and I have known each other since I was 12. So there's a healing that needs to happen here. That's what needs wrapped up. This healing is, is you're going to get clarity. Anthony's call with the bell announcement, with information coming in, this is, you're going to get the answers that you need. And I might even be the one to help you get it. Okay. I don't want to just leave this here for you guys over here. I will go deeper into this over in Patreon, but I do want to get you some kind of advice what is, I need to know, what is the lesson? What is the lesson? What deck do I want to use for that? I don't know. Speak to me, spirit. Let's try this one. What is the lesson? What is the lesson? What is begging to be chosen. Oh, oh, the fates. The fates. What is the lesson? What is the lesson? What is the block? How about that? What's the block here? <laughs> Treasure Island. Orphan. There you go. Now we're getting there. Truth be told. And you got truth over here too. It says, speaking the truth with kindness. Truth be told. So I have a feeling that somebody, and I'm feeling it could be spirit, is going to reveal to you some kind of a truth. around this orphaned card. This is the lesson. So I think perhaps something in your childhood made you feel abandoned, made you feel alone, unloved, unchosen. You know how many people I've had in my life that love me? But I, I sometimes being loved isn't there. It the Blah, 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 blah. Sometimes we can't open up to accept the love because there was a painful experience that was so deeply ingrained in us that, you know, although we've had numerous people in our lives that loved us, we never felt the love. We always felt alone. We always worried about being abandoned. And the funny thing about an abandonment wound is we tend to close off and abandon ourselves first. Because if we do it, it's less painful, right? So there's some kind of a choice here that's going to lead you to this treasure. I mean, you've got abundance written all over this reading. Abundance, abundance, abundance. The advice is something needs to end. I think it's a belief system with this two of swords. Swords is, is mind. It's thoughts, right? And so you're at some sort of a crossroad where you need to find clarity and healing, 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 healing. I got so much healing in this reading for you. A deeper healing, right? We have deeper healing. In order to clear this out so that you can step into this new beginning, 
and this abundance. And it could be with somebody you've met that's triggered you in this abandonment wound. Okay. I'm going to take a deeper look at this over in Patreon. If you feel like I'm tapping into your energy, then absolutely follow me over there. It's only $4 and 44 cents. And I'm so sorry about my kid. He's got earbuds and he doesn't realize how loud he's being. There's prosperity all over this. And I think it's your own belief system, delusion. It's your own belief system of not being worthy of it, right? It's like you put yourself up here in this, on this whatever. Looks like a big pile of turds, right? You put yourself up here and you just sit there and feel sorry for yourself. And this person is wearing a mask. And we have beware of self-delusion. And we have truth be told, and there is another mask. So I'm going to go over to Patreon and figure out what mask, because here you've got a mask on too. What is the delusion and how can you overcome it? Because it does seem to be affecting you financially and in relationships. Remember, guys, when you're manifesting, you don't manifest what you want. You manifest what you are or what you believe. So, for instance, uh, you could think that you are worth a hundred bucks, and that's pretty damn good, right? Where somebody else might see you as being worth a thousand bucks, because our value is is judged through our own belief of ourself, right? If you believe you're worth a hundred bucks, the universe is only going to bring you people that's willing to give you a hundred bucks. If you believe you're worth a million bucks, then spirit will align you with people who also see you as being worth a million bucks. All right. So we're going to take a look at this, this uh, wounding. That's what I'm hearing in my head. I do believe it's a childhood wound. And I believe that there's somebody that, that you had a lot of chemistry with that might have just recently come into your awareness and has triggered you in all of this fear around being abandoned. Now, take it as it resonates. It could be your person, too, because energies can flip. But we're going to take a look because I feel like this is your energy. Okay, Scorpio. So yeah, we're going to take this over. Um, so to sum it up over here, conclusions are within reach. You need to go deeper. You need to take a look at your past. You need to be willing to do some energy work around an abandonment wound. And because there's something here that is faded for you. And it is prosperous. It's going to come with some kind of clarity or announcement or possibly even a spiritual download. But you've got abundance. You've got treasure island. Spirit's telling you this is temporary. Sometimes life is hard, but your wish can be granted. In October, October could play in this. This could be your birthday. It could be your person's birthday. It could be when this um, energy is finally going to clear out because uh, eclipses can last for several months. Um, but there is a decision here. We're going to take a look at this decision. I already know what it is. In the 5D, this decision is energetically a wound a belief system. Uh, where did it go? Self-delusion. That's what this decision is. But in the 3D, it's going to have a more practical application, right? This could be choosing to take a leap of faith and investing in yourself or investing in somebody else. But to be honest, spirits being very clear that until something is, is uh, concluded, until some kind of an energetic shift is finished, I feel like you've already been working on it because this doesn't say go deep. 
This says, go deeper. So I think you've already gone deep. And Spirit's saying there might just be a little bit left of this healing that needs to happen. And it's going to be through some kind of a 3D choice that you have to make. And so we'll look at that and I will get you clearer answers. Um, okay. Okay. Spirit's saying just clarify the two of swords, please. Clarify the two of swords for Scorpio. Clarify the two of swords in the 3D. What is this decision? Four of cups, a missed opportunity. Yeah, see, I feel like this is somebody that you, I'm hearing Mariah, or not Mariah Carey, who is it? Um, Whitney Houston. Didn't we almost have it all? And all the love we had worth giving, the ride with you was worth the fall, my friend. This could be closure from something that you didn't get in the past, from a relationship that didn't work out. Clarify the two of swords. What's the choice? What's the choice? Four of Cups, too, is that no thank you card, right? No. King of Swords, King of Swords. Yeah, you're stuck in your thoughts. Quick wit and intellect. One more on the Two of Swords. I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to clarify, but Spirit likes to leave things a little bit cloudy and I don't want to leave you guys without the answers you need. All right. So what is the choice that Scorpio has to make in the 3D in order to create this sacrifice or close this chapter in order to find this new beginning? What is the choice? So we've got death and rebirth and the ace of pentacles and ace of wands on the bottom. Guys, this tra it's a transformation. This is an inner transformation that needs to happen. You are going through the purification process spiritually. And I keep asking about the 3D. And the only thing I get in the 3D is somebody who's cold. This could be your energy. It could be your person's energy. And aloof, right? Somebody who's saying no thank you. Somebody maybe who didn't choose you in the past that you've been trying to manifest again. I'm hearing closure. Wow. For some of you, you just need closure, conclusion. You need to have that final closure. You might have been abandoned by somebody. Somebody might have just walked out of your life and never said goodbye. It could be a parent. Could be a best friend. Could be an ex-lover. I will go deeper. We'll figure it out. I'm Spirit's telling me you guys already know. I've already touched it. You guys already got the message. So there's a stalemate here. And, uh, you can't manifest any further until you do more shadow work. And then all these aces. See, when this death and transformation happens, when you are no longer the caterpillar in the chrysalis, when you have made it to the butterfly stage by going deeper, I think you've done a lot of the work. I think there's just a little bit to, to clean up. And it could be closure around a situation or a person that you had a lot of chemistry with. So we'll take a look. I'm going to go over and we will see. Okay. So um, I love you. Fine. Everything's kind of on hold while there is a healing that needs to happen in the first week of July here. It could even go out as long as October. But I don't see, I don't see any real um, push. What do I want to say? I don't see an urgency. I see that this is faded, that it's going to happen one way or the other. It's a temporary situation, right? Temporary situation. Um, I just think spirit says, you know, the caterpillar 
needs time. It just takes time sometimes to go through the, the fire. Listen, your soul wanted change. Your soul wanted healing or you wouldn't have manifested this. And so if you want to be the phoenix, you've got to go through the flames. And it looks to me like you've already gone through quite a bit of it. Because Spirit's not saying go deep. They're saying go deeper. And something that was lost is about to be refound. And it could possibly be soul retrieval from a very traumatic ending that happened in your life. So there is a piece of you that you are recovering. Or it could be a person, right, that you are rediscovering. But I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you, Scorpio. It, of course, will play out in your 3D reality because it's part of who you are. But this is deeper than than 3D. This is this is spiritual in nature. The fates with the death card. This is very spiritual in nature. So we're going to take a deeper look because spirit said go deeper. So deeper we shall go. If you'd like to join me, guys, it's four bucks and 44 cents. How many times a day do you spend a little here and a little there? You know, a newspaper nowadays is a buck, right? So if you're interested in um, joining us over on Patreon, I will see you there. If not, then I will see you um, on the, not 15th, because I'm going to be out of town for my birthday, probably around the 18th um, or 19th. Uh, I will be uploading the next ones. To play catch up, I might even do a live and just go through each of the Zodiacs so that I don't have to put in 12 hours of this stuff, right? Maybe I'll do a live here and then we'll go over and do a live in Patreon too for all of the Zodiacs, okay? I'll brainstorm, but either way, you'll get your content. I love you guys. Have a beautiful July. Namaste.